Where is your mom from? Yeah, in Chukla. Where is that? It's seven hours drive from Uluru. Is that towards like Western Australia? Yeah. Is it over the border, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. So it's a, a long way away. Yeah. The favourite food up there is? Kangaroo. Yeah. What's special about your country, Daddy? Uh, we've got a big river. There's lots of swimming in it. We eat a lot of emu back home, which is our staple food. I shouldn't say this, but I do have favourite foods that would shock people. But I do love echidna. What's your totem? My totem is the great uh, red roo. Yeah. What's your totem, Clayton? It's um the dog. Dog? Yeah. Yeah, the dingo. From an Aboriginal community, if they're coming from a long way away from home, um, the, the struggles is the distance. And the other one is um, understanding why they're there um, and the length of time that they're away from home. That we understand that they're missing community um, and that we, we, we can't give them everything in their culture. Why is Nettie special? She helps Indigenous kids. What kind of stuff do we talk about? About the heart. We talk about our people? Yeah. Yeah, our different cultures? Yes. And we just talk about everyday sort of stuff. So you understand that, especially in the communities, that our people have a lot of heart problems. Yeah. So, and how important it is for them to get their heart checks. What was the reasons that you came down to RCH? Originally for a heart transplant. And then what happened then? We had the lung pressure test. Yeah. And I realised I need a lung transplant as well. I had um, dilated cardiomyopathy. You, Mama Lisa was, was worried? I think they were feeling a bit upset. Why do you think they were a bit upset? Like they were going to lose me or something. Yeah. She was worried about my spirit yeah. being taken away. And what would you say about that now? That my spirit's still in there. It's still there. And how does Mama Lisa feel about that now? A bit happy. Yeah. Yeah. That's important with Mama Lisa, isn't it? Yeah. That she understands how you're going to explain to them why you need to take all the medication. To keep me alive. Yeah. To stop my immune system attacking the new organs. For those children that are back in community, you know that they their heart's not so great, what would you say to them now that you've had your, your transplant? What would you say to those kids? It's okay to be away from home and the heart is serious and the doctor will help you. Just think it's Nan and Pop and they're standing there in front of you. What do you want to tell them about your heart and your lung? Just say hello and it's been a long time. Ah, uh, yeah. Think they're going to be emotional? Yeah, because I've got a new heart and lungs. What's happening now with all your walking since you've had the transplant? I'm getting fitter. Yeah? What sort of things do you love doing or would you like to do when you get back home? Play footy again. What sort of footy? AFL. <laughs> okay, and in Queensland, that's rugby league territory, they play AFL up there? Not really. <laughs> <laughs>